Let's take a run through problem 9-3. A variable overhead variance is very much like the first cousin of the direct labor variance. So if you did well on labor variances, overhead variances should be the same. I adjusted my glasses. If you haven't tuned into my previous videos this module, uh, I just want to tell you I, I'm having eye issues, so I'm having to wear glasses for the light, not just to look cool, although that's a, a wonderful side effect. Uh, widgets are us. Applies variable overhead cost jobs on the basis of machine hours okay so uh aqap our aq the actual quantity for uh overhead here variable overhead is going to be machine hours so we're looking for machine hour numbers the company's predetermined variable overhead rate is six dollars per machine hour and it is estimated that the company can produce two widgets per hour Okay, so those are standards. Uh, for January, the company produced 600 widgets and machines were active for 320 machine hours. The company's total variable overhead cost was $1,400. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Uh, AQ, the actual quantities, the actual number of machine hours these things were running, 320. 320 machine hours is AQ. AP is the actual price paid per machine hour. Well, we just know it's 1400 in total. 1400 divided by 320 is 4.375. So that totals again to 1400. AQSP, actual quantity of hours worked, 320 machine hours. Our standard rate is $6 per machine hour. So it's going to be times $6 per machine hour. 320 times 6, 1920. Okay, so the difference here is 520. Now, you can see this is a good news difference, right? We expected to be pay spending $6 a machine hour on variable overhead. We only spent $4, so yeah, we saved some money. This is a favorable variance. SQSP, so SP remains $6 per machine hour. SQ, I've been showing this a lot, at the actual output level, so the actual number of units produced, how much, in this case, of the overhead driver, machine hours in this case, should it take? So how many machine hours should this have taken? Well, we actually made 600 widgets, whatever our machine makes. How many machine hours would we expect it to take? Well, let's see, the company's predetermined overhead rate is $6 an hour, and it's estimated that each machine can produce two widgets per hour. So if I make 600 widgets, and I can make two widgets per hour, I would expect the machine to be working for 300 machine hours. That's what that's telling me, and that is my SQ. 300 machine hours times $6 per hour is $1,800. So, it actually took 320 hours to make what I think should have taken 300 hours. Uh, it was, uh, I used too much time, right? We were somewhat inefficient with our machine usage. So it's the difference here is $120. This is unfavorable. Now, well, overall, when we combine the two, 520 favorable, 120 unfavorable, we end up at 400 favorable. And that's, you can also compare the left and the right prongs of the uh, table. But there we go. Uh, we've solved 93A on variable overhead variances. Bye bye. Hold on. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> the next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.